Hello Internet, this is Ben with another Mysterious Space update. Um, let me just hop right in. I'm using the controller so I don't want to bother typing a name. And I will show you the new thing I've been working on. So I do have a new song by uh, DDR Kirby, ISQ, of course. Um, and besides that, there is a new funny thing, and I think I just caught it out of the corner of my vision. Oh no, okay, uh, what? Oh my, oh my goodness. Okay, so there's some issues. There's some issues, first of all. <laughs> Work in progress. So here's a force field that won't go away. Here is a button that should not be generatable on slopes, and you can see that if I press it, the force field is closed. How a force field got placed <laughs> touching another force field, I do not know. That is obviously a problem that needs fixing. Um, good, I'm glad that I've discovered this bug through this playthrough because I've not seen that before. So anyway, I need to push this button. The button should not be generated on slopes, so this is shaping up to be a horrible demo. That's why it's a work in progress, you guys. These things will all be fixed. Um, but I can't keep this button closed. What's going on? So there's a couple solutions. If an enemy touches it, um, he will press it. So we could like try to trick an enemy. God, I'm just get myself killed. We could try to trick an enemy. That's really not going to work. Let's see if we can find another solution. Let's find let's, let's find another solution and hopefully not get. Oh, good. I'm glad my uh, gun still works. Okay. Since I just got disabled there, an item was severely damaged. So anyway, I'm just looking around. I don't know how to get to that fuel yet. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, you guys. We are smart. We're smart people. But it was a nice hint, wasn't it, that when I touch the button. The force field goes away. And the force field colors are not as contrasting as I would like. That's something else I'd, I'd like to fix. They're okay here. Um, the red on blue stands out enough. But uh, like on the desert worlds, especially the red desert worlds, um, the red on red does not work. You can't see it. It's bad. Uh, so I'm definitely going to change the force field colors as part of this update as well. I also need to fix that funny bug we saw earlier. But anyway, let's, find, let's finish up this mechanic business. Oh, hello, other force field that blinks like force fields are supposed to. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So one solution is EMP weapons. EMP weapons don't deal damage, that was a lot of D, uh, don't deal damage to enemies. Um, they just slow them. But one of the other things it says on the description of EMP weapons is that it permanently disables force fields. So if you had an EMP weapon, that would be one solution. Uh, but it's not the only solution, which is good. I can't find the other solution. I've been around the whole planet. Oh, that's a little frustrating. Gosh, it seems impossible. I guess I'm just screwed. No, that's not true. Let's keep looking around. Um, going around the planet. Gonna find a solution to our button problems. Oh my god. Um, nope, no button solutions here. A button solution! So, another thing that is not implemented, this isn't a bug, it's just not implemented, uh, when you approach these, just like when you first see a fuel, it's got the little indicator that's like, fuel, 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 or when you see a little white crate, it's going, get, get, get. It will tell you, right button, right button, right button. Uh, left, right, yes, no, left, left button, left button. The left trigger on the uh, on the controller is what activates your little, your little tractor beam. Um, so you can see I can tractor it. And if it's multiplayer, you can fight over who's pulling the thing. I haven't tested it yet. Like, I, I'm pretty confident the math is going to work out because the math isn't that hard and having numbers fight each other is just going to work. Um, but I, I do need to test it out multiplayer just to make super sure and also see how funny it is. Um, you do not get slowed. So for every, for, uh, sorry, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction, right? Well, that doesn't seem to apply when lifting crates, and I would like it to. Um, I would like the crates to slow you down when moving a little bit. That doesn't happen. Anyway, we've got a sweet crate, and you might probably easily imagine that if you put a crate on a button, then all of your problems are solved, just like my song was singing about. So let's go and bring it. Oh no, bring back crate. All right. So yeah, the, this being on a slant is kind of awkward. That's clearly not supposed to be, but now I have made it in. I've solved it, except what's going on. <laughs> that force field, touching a force field is really wonky. Anyway, that's that's it. That's the new mechanic. There's crates. And this isn't going to be on every level, right? This is going to be sometimes. Um, and again, there's multiple solutions. If you don't like finding crates, uh, an EMP weapon will serve you. On planets where there's wind, oh, I can still tractor while I'm disabled? That's a thing. I need to not make... Oh my god, I need to not make that not happen. Um, I'm just dead. It's fine. I am supposed to be talking to you anyway. So, on... Oh, look, I'm still alive. 
I don't need that anymore. Why am I still carrying it? Anyway, on the desert worlds where you have the winds, that can be real bad because the boxes are pushed. And I can't tell if I want to leave it that way or not. Um, so it can be pro the reason it can be a problem is if you have the button on a, on a long, flat surface and you put the crate on it and you're like, oh, cool, the force field's unlocked. I'm going to go and get my fuel. The wind might blow the crate off the box and it does blow slowly, but you could totally get stuck inside. And then you're just screwed. <laughs> and I don't know if that's like, you know, I mean, that's the sort of thing where as a player, that was your fault, right? But I don't want to subject that to players in you know, when they've never encountered a crate before, that kind of thing. So I think what I will just do is something like if you're on a desert world, it will not generate the button crate combinations unless you're at a certain depth or something like that, you know, just to try and spare new players to hopefully make it so that they discover this mechanic before then you have, you know, also dealing with the wind, which is way, oh, the way that games should be like, um, God, I'm remembering now an amazing, it was an amazing video uh, sequelitis that this internet guy, uh, Ego Raptor, did. Um, sequelitis, and there's an awesome episode on Mega Man and how they tutorialized you without having you go through a boring tutorial. Um, and and it, it, in the Mega Man games are, are, you know, they're really good at that. And the Mario games as well are known for being really good at that, where they'll show you one obstacle and, you know, you're in a comfortable environment, you can sort of work around it, you solve it, you're like, yay, and then, but then they put you in an uncomfortable environment where they have that, that same obstacle. And so that's exactly the sort of thing that I need to do here. You know, introduce you to wind, all right, I understand. Introduce you to crate, button, all right, understand. Crate and wind, you know, that would be the ideal way to present it. And it's a little tricky with, with this procedural generation. Um, you know, how do we ensure that you see it in the right order? Especially because it's a game where you do multiple playthroughs. So it's almost more like the f like the very first time we want to make sure you, in, you, you see them separately. But we don't care after that. You know, on subsequent playthroughs, if you hit a Desert World level one, there should be no fear about, you know, combining the wind with the button crate combination. And so I can, you know, and to what degree do I do I want to do that? Um, I mean, it's not hard to save the value in the same settings file, you know, where it's keeping the rest of the tutorial settings. Uh, but, you know, then that becomes a little weird where you can delete the tutorial settings in order to not get that harder puzzle. You know, I don't want you doing that. So I don't know. It's kind of a weird situation. I think I would prefer to do it per game. And I think a, a pretty good way of doing it is just going to make just do where you're not allowed to have wind plus button crate combination unless you're like on the fifth or greater level, you know, something like that. So that's probably the route I will go. And I think that's going to catch 90% of the cases or something. I don't know the, you know, I made that number up, obviously. Um, but anyway, that's, that's the new mechanic. That's the new mechanic I'm working on. I also have an idea for a new accessory, um, uh, a usable item that freezes all the enemies on the screen for a short duration is, is another kind of, you know, rather than blowing everything up or making yourself faster or whatever, to freeze everything on the screen. That could be really cool. Um, give you some time to shoot them down or whatever. It could be very useful for like those enemies that like to teleport, like that horrible eye guy, or whatever. Or for fighting off a mini boss, freeze him, freeze all the bullets. You know, it would be freeze everything, freeze all enemy things. I think that would be a cool thing. So I, I want to add that as an accessory. Um, and other than that, I don't know. I don't have a whole lot planned for this update. Um, did I mention there's a, a new song by DDR, Kirby Guy SQ? I think I already mentioned that. Did I mention that? I don't remember. Anyway, now you know. Uh, he has created another fantastic song for the desolate, rocky, moon-like worlds. Um, yeah, and that's about it. I think I think really the button thing is going to be the big thing this update. It's going to be a pretty small update. Um, you know, I might see about sneaking in a new type of enemy, and, and I am going to add that new accessory, and if I get inspired to do a new shield or something, you know, I'll, I'll add in little things like that. But the main thing is going to be this, this button combination. And again, I just want to add some extra little things to do on levels. I feel like the levels can get very repetitive and samey. And so this is the first of many possible weird little puzzle things that you might have to deal with. And it would be cool, you know, I only just thought of this just now. What if instead of having a mini boss holding the fuel, the fuel is on the level, but the mini boss is holding the crate? I mean, you know, we could do funny stuff like that, too, and start to combine these obstacles in interesting ways. So, God, yeah, I'm going to do that. That'll be in the next update as well. I, I just thought of that just now. Anyway, let me back out of this thing. Carbon neutral. That's not true. Um, <laughs> after you get the mysterious source once in the game, once you get to the mysterious source, you unlock 
<laughs> these different, you know, it used to say not a 7DRL, now it cycles through these funny things to make fun of the things that businesses like to say to make you feel good about their products. Uh, carbon neutral turns out to be a, a sort of nonsense thing because really what that means is you you bought uh, carbon credits or, or sold your your buying it's, it's not there's you can't really be carbon neutral anyway um <laughs> anyway sorry that was a little distraction anyway thank you for watching as always thank you for playing and everything else um i haven't checked on the sales numbers uh for mysterious space recently but uh I'll post a separate update about that, but just in terms of doing another donation, uh, I think we're, we're really close. Uh, and Mysterious Space is on sale right now for 40% off as part of uh, Steam's crazy summer sale, and that makes it from $5 to $3, a nice round number. I don't like, speaking of nonsense that businesses do, three ninety nine, whatever, it's $4, but they, you know, it looks better to you. It's just a little trick to make you, again, feel better about your purchase. Uh, I don't like that. I, <laughs> I'm a bad business person. I give, I, I like nice round numbers. So it's $5 even, but right now it's $3 even because Steam is doing a sale. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I hope to do a donation before too terribly long. When will this version be out? I suspect sometime in the middle of this coming up week. Again, it's a pretty small update. There's just I can finish this up in an evening or two, and then I'll be ready to uh, to push it out to Steam for all you guys to play. So that will be really soon, um, which is great, which is fun. I like this. It's just an, an extra little thing. Again, an extra little little bit of puzzle uh, for Mysterious Space, which is great. So, sorry, <laughs> rambling as always. Thank you as always, and goodbye. Oh, I have to find the stop button on my recording thing. I always forget. I always forget. <laughs>